Chaotic scenes outside the Kabul airport as tens of thousands of Americans and Afghans remain trapped, many so desperate they're breathing gunfire and climbing over razor wire fences to get inside. Stay there, stay there. The U.S. Embassy is warning people not to come to the airport without approval from a U.S. government representative because of security threats, including from the so-called Islamic State. As you can see, this is a very complex and multi-step operation. Once inside the airport, thousands are boarding planes to escape the country as Taliban soldiers march through the streets of Kabul in full military gear. Heartbreaking for so many who hope for a better life in this country, including Gina Abawi, an Afghan-American from Virginia, who returned to her homeland six years ago to teach. It was a dream come true for me. I built a little house by the mountains and it was really cool. And it's the saddest day of my life right now. I just cannot imagine leaving, but unfortunately, it's time to go. With few possessions in hand, Afghan residents who aided the U.S. and its allies are now refugees, arriving in dozens of countries around the world, but grateful to get out alive. They are in, in good condition. They look very exhausted. Uh, they look very tired, but uh, seeing the, the children and the families uh, coming off with huge smiles, it warms your heart. U.S. President Joe Biden, who is getting daily briefings from his national security team, is pledging the military will get out any American who wants to leave Afghanistan. Hello. But Pentagon officials admit the window of opportunity is shrinking. We're fighting against both time and space. That's the race that we're in right now. And, um, and uh, we're, we're trying to do this as quickly and as, as safely as possible. More than 13,000 Americans and Afghans have been airlifted out this week, but tens of thousands remain in a country now under strict Taliban militant rule, fearing every day they stay here could be their last. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.